I'm joined by Davide Scaramuzza, Professor of Robotics and Perception at the University of Zurich to talk about drones. Now, we've had some incredible achievements in terms of what your drones can do, AI capabilities and the agility of them. Tell us more about some of your work. So I've been working on autonomous uh, navigating drones for 15 years. I started uh, in 2009. We were the first to demonstrate uh, that the drone can navigate and fly all by itself just using an onboard camera and an onboard computer. And this is important because all the commercial drones that were actually navigating up to that point were not truly autonomous. They were mostly uh, flown by expert human pilots or through GPS. We truly wanted to push the limits on autonomous navigation and we looked around and we realized that actually there is a physical sport where humans actually challenge their skills and it's drone racing. Um, and so we saw, oh wow, this is truly, truly difficult. So how can we build a machine that one day could defeat the world champion drone racing pilots? So, so we started working on this seven years ago. And then in summer 2022, we managed to actually defeat the two world champion pilots. Can you tell us how you were able to do that because it's one thing that you can have the AI operated drones, it's another to outperform humans. What was it that made you surpass the capabilities of the humans? One of the critical um, issues of a flying machine is its capability to estimate the motion. So a drone should always know where it is with respect to where it started. But the problem is that as you increase the flight speed, the images are blurred, so it's even more difficult for the drone to estimate its own motion. So we have to come up with algorithms to actually kind of let the drone estimate its motion despite the blur. So we built a very accurate, realistic simulator of the drone, of the physics, of the aerodynamics, so that, so that we could actually test the algorithms in this simulator. Another key enabler was machine learning. So uh, the algorithms behind our uh, uh, drone are actually neural networks. Uh, which teach the drone to fly very similarly to how kids learn to walk from scratch in the first months of their life. How do kids learn to walk? From, by making mistakes. And so thanks to this uh, realistic simulation environment, the drones actually make mistakes and they learn new control maneuvers in order to fly close to human pilots and later even better than human pilots. But you know, they are gonna crash hundreds of times. That's why it's more and more important to use simulation. So how do you see some of these autonomous systems you've been working on influencing real life and real world applications in the future? Our um, ambitious goal was eventually to push the limits on research with the hope that uh, the lessons that we will learn in this um, endeavor will be useful in many other fields. We have uh, another spin-off that is doing uh, um, agricultural drone, precision farming, estimating the, the, the status of crops, spraying uh, pesticides in crops. So we fly drones fast in order to maximize the productivity. We are using the same algorithms that we developed for drone racing. We also have uh, two European projects on autonomous inspection of uh, uh, power lines and another on autonomous inspection of container ships. There also the European Union is very interested in letting these drones fly as fast as possible in order to maximize the productivity because we have 100,000 kilometers of power line in Europe and they need to be inspected regularly, not every 10 years. And so it's important to use worms of drones to fly fast. And also the same applies to container ships. Often container ships need to go through inspection, but their downtime is like several months. But by using drones that fly fast, we can reduce the downtime to a few weeks or even days. That's all the idea of flying fast. Wow, really interesting stuff. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.